we do this, in the afternoon we do this, in the evening we do that. Okay, that's it. So, so what should I do with it? Go beyond that. Tell me that, ah, I know that this is the brand you are managing. For this program that I have, it can deliver this, it does this, it does that, it does that. How we are able to use it will be to doing this, doing that, doing that, and therefore people will want buy. Remember, I have an objective. I must sell that product. So tell me that one. Don't come saying this is my program and this is my this. It doesn't work. It doesn't work with us. So we'll listen to you, yes. We'll give you that yeah. But when you go, my team the resource will come and say, boss, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? We we'll forget about you because you're not making me the uh, this is for us. Again, determine which of the brands. Yes, I may have as many brands that I have, but determine which of them is spending continuously. We have some of the small, small ones. They don't spend. They will spend some one month before they go off. You understand something? So if you are coming, is it that small budget that you are coming for? And if I don't choose you, you are angry. Why? At least know the ones that are big continuously. They are spending, and therefore, all right. We would work with you on that. For example, you have uh, these alcoholic advertisers. Their DRO says that you must advertise after eight. So you sell me a, pro uh, a program, for example, and you are telling me that the audience is big. Yes, yes, it's big. But it's airing between four and six. I cannot place it on it. Other brands may and pay whichever fine. But the brands I manage, they will not. They have a code. So if I tell you I can't buy on that one, you have to give me something in the period 8 to 10 that the listeners want to want. Or why haven't you changed any of your programming? When the FDA uh, rules came, which of your programs have you decided that because all alcoholic beverages are supposed to air after 8, which of them have you decided that I'm going to fashion this program to air after that 8 period so that I can target this brand? Which of them? None. So date, none of you, and Bright will bear me out. <laughs> Bright, you're welcome. <laughs> none. And we always challenge them. Again, yes, I'm talking about this. Contact, uh, concentrate on those who are actively advertising and have money to spend. And when you make your presentations to us, don't just tell me about I have this program, I have this program. No. Tell me what I can do with that program. Tell me what I can do with that audience. How flexible are you? How can I influence the content? If I ask you to do a particular thing, can you do it for me? There's a particular stage, number one, yes. If you profile them, then if you tell them to do anything extra, they won't do it, forget it. They will not, all right? Yes, they are looking for the budget. Sometimes they will tell you, write me a letter. Hey, I'm a true letter. Then we will send it, yes, because we want that thing to happen. It's part of the strategy. We take it to them, and then it will sit on somebody's desk. And then later they will tell you that, oh, our boss hasn't said anything. Hey, okay, book a meeting for us to meet the boss. We'll go and meet the boss. I'm going to let the thing with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have wasted two weeks of my time trying to sell an idea that they can better deliver. They won't. Why should I give you all the budget? I won't. Yes, you are believing the numbers, but I will not spend there. Most likely, your listener self will not even perform that activity. We need those ones. Tell me how we are able to, how flexible you are, and how we are able to influence it. Okay? How interactive you are also. And then we are able to work going forward from there. Don't make it too personal. Which friendship comes in, right? my friend, so he should give me, no, no. He has to be professional. I have to take certain decisions. And I will not only use the friendship I have with you. You would have to be delivering me the numbers. Or there must be an activity you can do more than any other station can do. Then I will be able to what, look at you. Build a uh, professional relationship. The people I talked about, those departments, the strategists, the planners, and the buyers, get closer to them. Tell them about the things that you have and how you can benefit them on the campaign they want to run. If you talk to me because I'm your friend, sorry, I have, my days of doing those nitty-gritty things are over. I sit at the top now, 
it's the strategy I'm looking at. And I'm quizzing everybody, how would this one deliver on the objective? How would it? So you're telling me that you have worked on this station Y. Sorry, will station Y give me the numbers that I need for the objective? If it's not, there's a word we use, Yamutu. We take it out. So even them, before they will show it to me, they know that those questions will come and they better come with those answers because we would have to take it out. Okay? Now, what some of them tell me is that there are some of you, you have some own events you will do. Within the time you are doing those events, when they call you, you don't even pick. McBen was accusing us that we agencies, they will call us that we don't pick. You too, when you are doing your events, we call you, you don't pick. Now you, you won't pick because of that event. And next time you want me to pick your own. Sorry, you are. So please, provide the right discount according to our spend with your network. I'm not greedy. If Bright doesn't spend with you, don't give him the discount he will give me. I am spending with you. Give me that discount. All right? <laughs> and he's looking at me. Yes. Take those decisions. But more importantly, why should a sales person like you go to a client and offer discounts over and above what you are giving me, you, one small person, go and get small budget, and then you are able to offer them bigger discounts. Me, the agency that is bringing you this pot, big pot of money, you give me lesser discounts than what you can offer to the brand. Sorry, when I hear it, next time, I won't happen, professionally. So if I have to make any considerations because you are not believing the audience, sorry, I will not still work with you. Because uh, bad one. Again, don't charge for everything. Throw in additional discounts. Some of you are rigid. Oh, I want some quick interviews. So we charge this one for paying you. Oh, something small. I wanted. No, no, no. Okay, no worries. If you're not ready to do those ones, me too. No compromise. Don't chase for my business. All right. You go there and offer them discounts that you can't. Sometimes we'll call back and say, oh, somebody has gone to this station. They offered this discount. Why are you not giving me that much? Because I'm spending with you. And they tell you, oh, we don't know. They will find some funny reasons. Okay. Get to understand the brand's direction. So as you talk to the strategists, the planners and the rest, they will tell you that this is our direction for this year. We are focusing on this. How are you able to make sure that you are offering programming, all right, that is able to satisfy the client's objective? You need to be offering those ones to me. Again, I understand our cycle. Not all the brands do January to December. Some do like July to August, April to March. I understand that planning cycle and then come to me, engage me earlier. Because if you want me to spend on your network, then those engagements I'm seeking, let's engage earlier. Come discussing those uh, value that you can provide and then from there we can look at it. Mm -hmm.